In the Middle East, Abu Dhabi has become one of the world's most prosperous and developing cities. In November of 2009, Abu Dhabi's Yaz Marina circuit made its successful debut on the World Formula One stage. Leading into the 2010 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, media and a few fans have come to the Yaz Marina circuit to participate in a very special two-day event that takes passionate aficionados right the way through to a full Formula One dream experience. Is motorsport a real sport? Normally, a lot of people ask us this question. So what we're learning here is that Formula One drivers actually are athletes, the same as Tour de France cyclists or Premiership footballers. They have to be trained to a very high level. The heart rate peaks at over 200 beats a minute for the entire length of a Grand Prix. It's well over 185 beats a minute. This is a test to strengthen my neck muscles. I have a five kilogram weight hanging from my helmet. Let's go. The physical demands of driving are far greater than any of our trainees had bargained for. The strains are beginning to show. I think we're getting towards two minutes now. It's starting to, yeah, it's starting to sort of cramp up a little bit. Yeah. My left shoulder's gone. The right one's fine, but the left one doesn't want to play anymore. I don't know. The left one's gone. Okay. It's not easy. So here we're simulating the race starts. The red light's got to go to green, and it's your reaction time. It's pure reaction time. What's your main objective there? What are you, what are you trying to achieve? We try to investigate the brain performance, and then we try to find, specifically for every driver, the best system to obtain better result, consuming less energy. So a, a good Grand Prix driver is one who can drive on the limit, but still leave a, a good chunk of his brain to think about tactics, to think about talking on the radio to the team. Exactly. So with these tests though, if the drivers will pass through your door, you can tell whether a driver has what it takes to be a top yeah. one driver, yeah. just from these tests. Yeah, <laughs> we get <laughs> This must be highly classified confidential information. Yeah. <laughs> With the preliminary physical and mental training out of the way, our team are more than enthusiastic about getting on with the more practical side of things. Good afternoon. Welcome to the, the next part of your day and as I believe the first actual driving part of your day. Karting sharpens up the competitive instincts, but a glance at the experts at work shows what a world away they are. It's really important because you, you made all the, all the experiences and all the races fighting a lot, so it's really important for, for a driver to, to race in Boca. I think my race craft needs some work. <laughs> what happened? Um, I didn't get off the grid fast enough, span round. <laughs> Cars going left, right, centre. <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Jules came out and started tapping the back of my car and having some fun, and then it reminded me, I might think I'm quick and run here. As soon as there's someone else in the equation, I'm in trouble. I was hanging right there with them guys, you know, they're a little lighter and stuff and they get, were getting me on the straight, but uh, I was hanging right there with them. Yeah, there was some, some good driver. Also day we, we fight a bit with them and it's good fun because we see the, them improvement. I mean, in the beginning they were quite slow and now, now it's uh, quite good. There's no doubt that the experience here at Yas Marina Circuit is a chance of a lifetime. We've only just begun the journey and already our team has started to conquer the nerves. I'm not as fit as I thought I was and I'm not as fast as I thought I was. But other than that, I think I've got all the attributes needed to get to Formula One. <laughs> Next time, our trainees step up a notch and side-by-side -side lessons with their mentors.